Doing something today I haven't done for a while, which is just getting up at the bug crack of dawn to get a sunrise shot over here at the tessellated steps in Tasmania, Australia. You got you got to get out there before there's no color. So when that color does hit, you're ready to capture it. Sun's just about ready to come up. These are the tessellated steps. Pretty amazing. And it's a lot darker to the naked eye than it is to what that camera's picking up. It is uh, early morning, about 5 a.m. down here in Tassie. And uh, I haven't done one of these for a while, so keys to getting a great uh, sunrise, guys, is get there before the sunrise hits. That's, that's, that's very, very important. Um, have a tripod, ready to go. Today I'm shooting with the A7R2 and the 16-35mm FE Zeiss lens. Um, once the, to me, once the uh, sunrise hits, you really don't need a tripod anymore. You need a tripod for uh, the pre-shots. Now, if you want to get a longer exposure, especially at a place like this where you want to blur the waves or something, then just get an ND filter on your... Uh, on the front of your lens there and uh, you know you can fire for 10, 20, 30 seconds and uh, you can get some really really beautiful shots. Uh, I, I don't have an ND filter with me today because uh, I was out uh, we didn't plan on doing this so this is just hey I haven't done a sunrise for a while so why not? You have a break in the clouds so the cool thing is we have lots of cloud cover but there is a break that's the key to a great sunrise so if you don't have the clouds, there's nothing for the light to reflect off of. So you want the sun coming out reflecting off these clouds to give you color and then create an amazing sun, sunrise. Um, so just keep that in mind when you guys are looking to see whether or not you think it's going to pan out. I can already see right in here uh, the color starting to come and I'm getting very excited. This could be a really gorgeous, gorgeous sunrise. A thing too is by when you don't go on the tripod, it gives you the ability to move around. I did that for my Heaven's Breath shot. Scotland and this one could end up being another another doozy so uh, I don't want to have to worry about you know where I'm standing and so on and so forth a lot of landscape photographers may disagree with that they may want to stay tripoded so they can do a long exposure which is fine when that sun hits if it hits right it's gonna be awesome I'm shooting them raw. Um, ISO 100, F4. It's another thing that the landscape purists will get upset with me. Because you're supposed to shoot a landscape at, you know, F8, F11, F16, 22. Again, I want to have mobility. Uh, and if I shoot a uh, really narrow aperture, then I'm going to lose the ability to. Uh, to be mobile because I'll have to be tripoded, which uh, if you guys can't tell by now, I don't like being tethered too much in any way, shape, or form. Looks like it's coming. This is where you don't want to do indie vintage, guys. Don't do the stupid blowout fake blow out crap skies. Get some beautiful real skies. I know we joke around about my fake skies, but get some beautiful stuff, guys. Stuff that you'll, uh... how about this? Why don't you capture the earth the way God created it, rather than some digital disgusting white mess blob. Get those skies, guys. You won't regret it. I've also turned the level on on my camera. I know Sony cameras have it. I think a lot of the Nikon and Canon are starting to come out with it too, but uh, or maybe they already have. But uh, the level in this scenario is fantastic, and you also want a camera that has a high dynamic range so you can pull all the details out. Just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous.
difficult thing about uh, taking pictures of the sunrise is they are so unpredictable. Some will be very colorful and others will not. Uh, some will be very uh, orangey purple red. Um, those uh, colors actually happen before the sunrise, before the sun itself actually rises. So if you're looking for those orange, those the deep purples and reds, um, uh, that that depends. It depends on the sunrise. Uh, but this is beautiful, and I think uh, sometimes it's miserable, and sometimes it's cold. But there is nothing photographically. There's nothing that really compares to capturing a, a beautiful sunrise. It's very peaceful. Um, and it can be frustrating, trust me, I've been there. It can be very, very frustrating. There's a lot of times you get up and there's not a good sunrise. Um, we got a good one today. It's not the best I've ever seen, but it's beautiful. And I'm glad I was able to share it with you guys. So as you can see, the sun rise has risen. It is gone, and once it has come and gone, the colors come and go. And uh, there's really nothing left to capture. Now a few more tourists are coming out. They tend to always come after the sun rises. They look at the, the time on the Google and see what time it rises and thinks that's what, think that's, and they think that's when they need to be there. How to capture sunrise. Get out here 30, 45 minutes prior to the sun actually rising. Have a wide angle lens. Um, if you uh, want to do a long exposure, make sure you have a tripod and a, uh, an ND filter. I don't really, I have all the ND filters. I should use them more, but I've, shoot, I've been shooting so many people recently over the last year or two that I don't carry my big, you know, 10 stop ND filters like I used to. Uh, but even then, my favorite sunrise I've captured. Uh, of all time was Heaven's Breath in the Glencoe, Scotland, the, hot, uh, the highlands of uh, Glencoe, Scotland. And I shot that handheld too. So, uh, wide angle lens, a camera with good dynamic range, have a level to make sure your horizon is straight, um, expose for the bright spot, and uh, be willing to get up when very few people are willing to get up. Because uh, it's not only a matter of being here. Uh, that 30, 45 minutes before sunrise, but it's getting all the way from wherever you're located down here in, in time as well. So grateful to my friend Greg for joining me. Grateful uh, for you guys for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Uh, and I really appreciate you guys coming. So until next time, keep shooting, never give up on your dreams. Find the right gear that works for you. Today I used the 80, Sony A7R2 and I used the 1635 uh, millimeters ice. Uh, and remember, you only have one chance to get it right. Thanks so much, guys. I'm going to get some sleep. Talk to you later. Bye. This is Jason Lanier playing a uh, piece called uh, Sunrise that I'm kind of just making up right now. I just started playing about five minutes ago on my grandma's old piano here in my living room. That's out of tune, has some keys that are sticking and some keys that hit two notes. And I'm not playing with any music, just uh, having fun and just sharing a little bit of music with you guys there on YouTube.